In today's video, I'm sharing 10 facts about Newburgh, Oregon. So whether you're a longtime resident, you're a visitor, or you're thinking about moving to Newburgh, I think you'll learn something that you probably didn't know before. So keep watching for 10 fun facts about Newburgh. Hey everyone, I'm Daniel Roberts. I am the principal broker of the Joyful Roberts Group, and we are a local real estate team in Newburgh, Oregon. If you live in Newburgh or are thinking about moving to Newburgh, this channel is for you. I'm always making new videos about Newburgh, the real estate market, and tips on how to buy a home, sell a home, investment tips, things like that. So if you're interested in those kind of things, consider subscribing to the channel so that you get all the videos when they come out. If you are thinking about moving here, buying a home here, selling a home, feel free to reach out to me. My number and email are right there at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to text me, email, call. You can also go to our website and fill out a form and that'll send a message directly to us. So whichever way you're more comfortable reaching out, feel free to do that. We love answering questions and helping people. And with that, let's go ahead and get to the 10 fun facts about New River Oregon. Fun fact number one, Oregon became an incorporated city in 1889 and the Newburgh graphic was actually established that same year. Although technically it was founded at the end of 1888, but a lot of people say 1889. Fun fact number two, Newburgh has a population of 25,477 people. That's as of 2021. Uh, that population has been holding about steady for the past several years, probably because there's not a lot of new homes being built. So there isn't really a way for the population to grow much until there's more places for people to live. But I'm not gonna get into that here. Fun fact number three, community tradition says that Newburgh got its name from its first postmaster, Sebastian Brecher, who named it after his hometown of Newburgh, Germany. There's also a street named after Brecher that connects from Highway 99 all the way down to Fernwood Road, right by Portland Community College. Uh, also, another fun fact is I have no idea whether I'm pronouncing Brecher correctly. Fun fact number four, Newburgh was originally inhabited by the indigenous Kalapuyan tribe, and they named this area Shehalem, which, depending on which source you look at, can either mean Valley of the Flowers or outside place. Fun fact number five, Ewing Young was one of the original Northwest entrepreneurs, and he came to the Newburgh area around 1834, down by the Shapui area. Now, his home was believed to be the first home built by a European settler. There's a fascinating history about Ewing Young, and I'm not gonna get into all of that here, but there's a place called Ewing Young Distillery out Highway 240, and actually right by there is Ewing Young's burial site, and there's a giant oak tree over his grave. And you can actually learn about all this on the Ewing Young Distillery's webpage. They've got a whole article about Ewing Young and his history. Uh, it's pretty fascinating if you wanna check that out, and that link is in the description below. Fun fact number six, Newburgh is home to George Fox University, one of the nation's top Christian universities, and it's also where I got my degree in mechanical engineering. And how I went from engineering to real estate is something I'm not gonna cover in this video. George Fox started in 1885 as Friends Pacific Academy. It later changed its name to Pacific Academy, then George Fox College, and then in 1996 officially became George Fox University. Between all of its programs, it has over 4,000 students enrolled, which makes Newburgh a pretty special place because there's two colleges right in the small town. And there's a lot of new young professionals getting dumped into this area every single year. And by the way, if you're looking for a university, I would happen to highly recommend it. Fun fact number seven. So in its early days, Newburgh was a dry town, meaning that there is no alcohol sales allowed, also called a prohibition. Prohibition continued until 1966 when a close vote made alcohol sales legal again. So you can drink in Newburgh, but George Fox is still a dry campus, which obviously there's a lot of people who disagree with that, but it is what it is. Fun fact number eight is that Newburgh is considered the gateway into Oregon's wine country, which is a bit ironic when you consider that alcohol used to actually be completely illegal here. But now there's over 100 wineries and tasting rooms within a short distance of Newburgh. Fun fact number nine is Newburgh is home to the Hoover Minthorn House, which was the childhood home of the United States 31st president, Herbert Hoover. That home is now a museum and you can actually go and tour and check it out on the inside. Fun fact number 10 is Newburgh is the fourth safest town in all of Oregon. And that's why so many people consider this place a great place to grow. And that also just happens to be the town's motto. 
All right, well, there you have it. There's 10 fun facts about Newburgh, but there are so many more. And if you're a longtime resident of Newburgh, or maybe you just moved here, you learned something new that I didn't mention, please mention it in the comment section. I would love to see all the other facts and fun, interesting things about Newburgh that maybe I don't even know. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing. You can also hit the like button if you like this and want to share it with your friends. Uh, either way, I always want to make videos that are engaging and fun for people to watch. So if there's feedback or things you'd like to know about Newburgh, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. And again, if you're thinking of buying or selling a home in Newburgh, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. Well, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.